because I don't feel like showing my face on camera, you're going to look at that picture of the boat with a palm tree, the entire video. Don't know who made it, who painted it, who photographed it. But that's what you're going to look like at with this video. Um, I, I just started, or just finished watching a, a video by Adam Raguzia as the fridge kicks on. Or is that the water softener? I don't know. It'll be alright. Um, Adam Raguzia is a YouTuber who does cooking videos primarily. And for the most part, they're good. The only problem I have with Raguzia is because is that him, so much like any of all these other DIYers who gain a little bit of subscribers on YouTube, they immediately start selling out. Um, the guy... You know, judging by his videos, by his car, by the neighborhood he lives in, he doesn't really need the money. Uh, I mean, I I don't know the guy. The guy could be piss poor and not have a pot to piss in or window to throw it out of. But uh, as the water softener in my hotel room gets louder. Sorry, guys. Anyway. Um, but just by the look of the guy's house... The equipment that this guy uses to cook with, the equipment that this guy uses to shoot his videos with, which, from what I understand, he's a producer and, you know, in the commercial media world, which if that's the case, you definitely don't need the money that you're going to make from YouTube. So why clutter your videos at the front end and back end with square space and all this mess? Um, it kind of upsets me when I hear YouTubers go... We need you to click the like button and go click our affiliate link so that you can help us keep the lights on. And I'm like, dude, I'm making this video right now from my hotel room for free. It's not, I have to pay my cell phone bill anyway, which is how I upload this. I don't make a goddamn dime from this, dude. Whether or not you click that subscribe button has no impact on, you know... Whether or not I'm going to have to stop making videos or not. This is free. YouTube is free for everybody. It does not cost you any money to make a video. Unless you want to go out and buy a seven th or four thousand dollar camera and a twenty, you know, a ten thousand dollar jib for the camera and a thirty, you know, three hundred dollar boom mic for the camera and Fifty, you know, a thousand dollars worth of lighting for the camera, or you know, for or so that the 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 lighting looks right and this looks right. That's that's a luxury. You don't need that to make a YouTube video. There are ten year olds out there on YouTube who don't have any of that crap, and half the time their videos look better than the people that do. So. You don't need any of that, you know. I mean, it's nice to have, and it does make the video look way better than this shit that I'm shooting with my cell phone. But when people say, I need sponsors, and I need you to join my Patreon so that you, so that I can keep making videos for you. Dude, you can make, you, you got into YouTube without that. So it's been proven that you can make videos without that stuff. The only thing that it's costing you is time. And if you're going to, you know, justify to your family that, hey, I have to go make a video because it's going to pay me money, then your priorities are seriously out of whack. You know, um, if, 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 you know, and, and I'm a truck driver. I spend two to three weeks away from my family sometimes <laughs> months. As my cell phone goes off in the background. Sorry, guys. I spend months sometimes away from my family. But that pays the bills. It's not a... a I'm sorry. I used to believe that I could make a living off YouTube. To me, YouTube is now no longer a job. It's not a job. It's a hobby that pays your bills. If you get lucky enough. It's not a job. Um, YouTube does not... You know, and Google, I said this before, does not have to pay you for your videos. They could clearly put a disclaimer in there 
Now the air conditioning's clicking on. <laughs> they could clearly put a disclaimer in their terms of service that says, I'm going to flip the camera around. There we go. They, they could clearly put a disclaimer in there that says, by uploading to this, you agree that your video becomes property of YouTube slash Google LLC, whatever, and it is free for us to use without any compensation being paid to you. Therefore, all the people bitching and complaining about fair use and this and that, those same people, if YouTube decided to use their work to promote YouTube, you better bet that they'd be on the phone to their lawyers going, YouTube, use my stuff. I want to be paid for it when it's fair use. So, again, YouTube is a luxury. YouTube, Google, they don't owe you shit. They give you the servers and the platform. Okay? It's there. YouTube was created by two guys who quickly sold out to Google as soon as Google came and knocked it. I think it was maybe all of two years under their own belt when they realized they couldn't afford it. It was getting too big. So they sold it. Good for them. So, and, and Adam Raguzia has this, has, has evolved into one of the YouTube sellouts. Um, some of these YouTube sellouts I like very much. Midnight's Edge is one of them, you know, who has now gotten sponsors. Um, Doomcock, I think, is the only one, and correct me if I'm wrong, but Doomcock and uh, Nerd Rotic and people like that are the only two that I know of that do not have sponsors for their videos. They do not have, uh, you know, come visit squarespace.com slash Doomcock, get 20% off the Squarespace site, and you'll help us keep the lights on. If you can't keep your lights on... Without YouTube, then there's something seriously fucking wrong with you. You need to go get a real job. YouTube is, should be a hobby. I'm not saying we need a new adpocalypse. I'm not saying Google should take away compensation. But when you're a YouTuber and you're doing pretty well, and then all of a sudden, you know, you sell out. Why Why is Adam Raguzia doing stuff for Squarespace? Why? Why does he need to do that? Why are Midnight's Edge doing stuff for Squarespace? Up until now, it, you know, it, or Audible. Audible's another one. It's, it's like these routine sponsors that whenever you hit a certain amount of views and a certain amount of subscribers, you automatically hear from these people. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not begrudging anybody for making a, uh, you know, trying to con, I mean, make a buck. <laughs> As old Scheme Gene used to say, there's a reference for you. But it's like, dude, I, I hate when people go, if you don't join our Patreon, this channel is going to close and go out of business. First off, it's not a business. Second of all, it's, you know, like, like when Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, my ability to re live stream has taken away revenue from my family. Uh, dude, have you gone out and tried to get a real job? This is taking revenue from my company. It's not a company. Sorry, I just don't, you know... Unless you had the company first, and then the YouTube channel sprouted from, you know, as a subsidiary or a branch. Were you already established before YouTube? I don't think so. You know, you weren't out there busting your ass into public eye. and No, you just decided to take a webcam, record it, and push the upload button and say a prayer. Maybe tweet your video out there. And you said a prayer. You didn't put any... There, there's no work. Now, with food YouTubers, I get it. You have to go out and buy the food. You have to go out and, you know, shoot it and all, and, you know, but... You're going to eat it for dinner anyway. Why not shoot and make a video of it, of the process? That does not cost you money. I don't get this whole thing of, if we got to keep the lights on. Click my, click my uh, uh, Audible link so I can get my little 5% shillings of whatever you're going to buy from Audible. And that helps, quote unquote, keep the lights on. 
It makes it to where we could do more videos. No, it makes it to where you can ignore, you know, put your time and effort into it. So we're buying your time. But you were going to take the time to make the video regardless of whether anybody paid for it or not. And if if you're not going, if you if you have to justify your time spending making these videos by you know financial means, like you know if if the if if the money is the means that justifies the work, if that's all you're in it for, then maybe you know maybe we need to wake up and realize that. YouTube was started as a way of not make not making money. YouTube is a hobby. Maybe it needs to get back to that. You know, um, it's like if if the only reason why you're ignoring, you know, and I'm not saying anyone's doing this, but I'm just using this as an example. If if John Doe YouTuber is saying, "Hey, I need money so I can keep making these videos." then he that means that he has to justify it to his loved ones. He has to justify it to everybody else in his life that, hey, I need to take time away from you to go make this video because it pays the bills. When in reality, you could go get a real job that's actually doing something. I mean, you see what I'm saying here, guys? It's like, you know, don't don't sell out. I, I don't want sponsors on this channel I don't know if I ever want to you know now that I'm rethinking this I don't know if I ever want to get that big because if if being that big and being successful means that I have to put 50 fucking ads at the beginning and end of my videos and I have to tell you to mash that like button and mash that subscribe button every 20 seconds I'm glad I only have a hundred and some subscribers I'm glad if that's what it takes to be at the top I'm glad that I'm at the fucking bottom And I used to love Adam Raguzia's videos. Hell, I've made many of his recipes, and they've turned out good. But when I got to sit there and, you know, watch a video about a serious topic, like the one about Mario Batali that he just did, and I got to sit there and click fast forward for 30 seconds at the beginning of the video, because it's a Squarespace ad, and then you tie in the subject at the end in a quote-unquote clever way to Squarespace again. And I got to click through the other 30 seconds and going, okay, is that the end of the video? All right, I'll just stop watching now because I don't want to hear your bullshit ad. I'm not going to go to Squarespace and and do that because you tell me to. It's just getting out of hand. And in a way, I'm kind of glad the ad apocalypse did happen and that they're limiting it. I know that my channel will never get that big. Um, and again, if, if that's what it takes to be at the top, I'm glad I'm at the bottom. I'm glad I'll never get that big. I'm just a man out here keeping America rolling by in my truck. And, you know, if that makes me, you know, a redneck in someone's eyes, or hey, he's a stupid redneck driving a truck. Yeah, and you're in, you're a moron behind a camera who's selling out. You're a corporate sellout. You know, you're the same corporate, you know, you like people like that bitch about corporate. You know, I, I find it funny how some of these entertainment YouTubers bitch about Star Wars and bitch about comic books and bitch about how Hollywood's ruining things. And they bitch about identity politics and they bitch, 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 bitch about these big corporations. But, oh, go to Squarespace, go to Audible, go to Dollar Shave Club. That was a real big one. It's like you, we we can't support Disney, but we can support Dollar Shave Club because they pay us money. It's it's come on, come on. Quit selling out. YouTube needs to become a hobby again instead of a job because it just it just ruins people to me. It just ruins people. It ruins channel. It ru people's channels. It ruins their artwork. If you go back and watch, you know, I, I'm sure that some of these YouTubers, actually most of these YouTubers, before they got big, they used to be real entertaining. And now it's like, I don't want to watch it because I don't want to look at your bullshit ad. And I don't want to hear you talking about Squarespace for the 1500th time. I'm here to watch what you have to say and, and do. 
If I want a square space, I'll go out and buy a square space or, or you know, buy a Dollar Shave Club kit. I don't need you ramming it down my throat. Anyway, folks, I'm going to get off here. We'll see you down the road. Fucking square space. Really? <laughs>